Avatar, The Last Airbender just came out on Netflix, the live action version. Everyone was pretty hyped for it. The original was super popular. I had actually never seen the original, and I was pretty excited for it because of how much I enjoyed the One Piece live action. And I gotta say, it's fallen pretty flat for me. I watched the first two episodes, so I won't say that the show is definitively terrible, but it feels really stale to the point where I don't know if I'll keep watching. Overall, it's just kind of okay. The world is really cool. The setup for the story is pretty cool. The costumes and set designs are pretty hit and miss. The special effects are hit and miss. The acting is really bad, which I feel bad saying since it's a lot of kids. That could just be an extension of the writing and direction, but it is rough to watch in that regard. I was hoping that I would enjoy it as much as I did One Piece, where it made me want to go to the original source material. One Piece, I slowly started reading the manga. I'm only like chapter 80 out of 1100 or whatever we're at. And I was like, oh, if the live action's good, I'll go watch it because I've heard it raved about for years. It seems like everyone who's watched that show loves it, except for Mauler. And I was looking forward to this quite a bit because it looked like they put some money into it. I don't know, and this is just speculation since I haven't seen the original. It seems to me like what happened is they took the bullet points of the show and the main points and kind of condensed it down and removed anything they deemed unnecessary. And this probably took the charm out of it. There's also some really naked exposition, like where characters just give these huge info dumps of stuff that they should already know in the world. And I don't know if this is how the original was written. Obviously, animated stuff gets away with more than live action does. But when you have an adaptation, to me, those are the times when you want to fix writing issues like that. If there's just huge exposition dumps, that's where a good writer can come in and improve it without drastically changing the story at all. So I don't know if that's in the original or not, but it's pretty blatant in this show. Every character kind of just feels flat. One thing that I do like is all the different locations feel like they're in different places. And this is something I think a lot of shows struggle with, like The Witcher, for instance, where every single place looks the same. You have the same kind of demographics in each place, so you have no clue where you are. Like Every place here looks very distinct. The people look different. They behave differently. So I bet in the show, all that stuff is really good and really explored. And we do get to see that here in the live action in the first couple episodes. I've seen quite a bit online of people who've seen the original and loved it, and they all seem pretty disappointed. And from what I've seen, the opinions vary from it's pretty bad to it's just kind of meh. I don't think it's terrible. It's just very meh and generic. It seems like something I would put on in the background while I was reading or something to kind of keep one eye on, but not really get super invested in. And you can tell that the characters could be really likable. I like the idea of Aang having this burden forced onto him that he doesn't want and then slowly embracing it as the story goes on. You have Katara, who seems like her abilities are weak, and it looks like she's gradually going to get stronger. You have Sokka, who looks like he's going to fall in love with this chick and kind of go on his own journey. Although I'm not actually sure what his journey would be, because he was kind of the big fish in the small pond, and now maybe he's supposed to be the small fish in the big pond, and he's going to grow into that role. It's not quite clear to me. He seems kind of flat. Prince Zuko could be a pretty interesting character. He's got this burden placed on him by his dad that's supposed to be an impossible task, and he's willing to do anything to get it which is a pretty good setup for an antagonist. But he does seem a bit over the top and one dimensional. And I don't know if that's something that gets fleshed out as the story goes. But for the first couple episodes, he seems very one note. Like, I'm going to find the Avatar and get him. And that's it. Overall, not a terrible impression, just kind of forgettable. And there's just not much there. So I don't know, maybe I should keep watching and give it a chance and it'll get better. After two hours, you really want to be in. You want to be invested. Something like One Piece is pretty easy to invest in in about five minutes. Luffy is very upbeat, very happy, very positive. He has a clear goal of wanting to be king of the pirates. And then he's befriending people. So you get introduced to all your main characters very quickly. And this show introduces them and that kind of stops there. The characters kind of feel like they're trying to fill a role in a story as opposed to just existing in their world. Which is weird because Aang clearly has a responsibility and a goal. Zuko has a very clear goal. Katara and Sokka are a little bit more nebulous because they're like, oh, I want to save the world. Which I guess is a clear goal, but kind of vague. It's hard to put my thumb on exactly what the issue is, but everything just feels sort of cliff notes and surface level. And again, I do wonder if that's a time constraint because I saw that the animated episodes were three seasons. And I know time-wise they're about the same, but structuring a story, obviously they can't do a one-to-one. Like, you're not going to have three episodes jammed into one episode, storytelling-wise, for a TV series. If you've watched it, if you've watched the original, let me know what you think. Should I give up on the live action or keep going? Should I just go to the original and not bother with the live action? As always, if you comment, I'll respond. Like and subscribe and all that shit. Thanks. See ya.